Welcome back to your class, and this is a discussion for our reproduction in plants and animals booklet, and let's look at this question together. So this question here says that the diagram below shows the cross-section of flower X. So we can see this is a flower X, and A here says what? Based on your observation, what you can observe, explain why it is not pollinated by wind. So uh, the first thing you should know is this is flower X. And you have a very beautiful and large petals. So for sure, this is animal pollination. Or animal pollinated. It will be pollinated by animal. Okay? Pollinated by animal. But now they are contrasting. They are asking, why is it not by wind? So now from this perspective, you understand that if it needs to be wind, the flower will look like something like this, right? The anther and the filament and the stigma, sorry. If it needs to be pollinated by wind, the anther and the stigma should also be sticking outside of the flower so that it's easier for the wind to carry, right? So explain why it's not pollinated, you can say. It's because the stigma, the anther and the stigma, and stigma, of the flower are uh, not sticking out or you can say hanging out of the flower. It, it needs to be hanging out of the flower so it will be easy to carry by wind, right? That's all. Okay? The next one. Name the part of the flower that receives the pollen grains. Ah, oh, this is something you should know, right? Pollination is a transfer of anther from the pollen of the pollen grains from anther to stigma. So stigma is the one receive. Okay, so stigma. Now let's look at the next part of the question. Something that's really interesting here. The diagram below shows a cross section of flower Y on the same plant. Okay, again, just now we have flower X, right? Now we have flower Y on the same plant. Let me just draw the imagination here. Okay, this is the flower. Okay, this is another flower. Okay, example. Okay, this is plant X example. This is plant Y. Now, what happened in this question is some parts of are covered with plastic bag, as shown below. Okay, so let me just draw a bit here. Example, this is the stigma. Okay, something like this. Okay. What happened is this Y, the anther seems like it's being covered with plastic. Can you see that? It means that uh, I will actually can use the plastic to cover. Cover, cover. If it is cover, you actually can understand as what? You can understand as the anther not able to transfer the pollen grains out, right? Now, the question continues to say, C, Mary commented that the flower Y could develop into a fruit. Now, let me just say, uh, quickly explain here a little bit more since you haven't learned the next part of uh, this booklet. So basically, uh, pollination happens, then fertilization. And fertilization, we have dispersal, then we have germination, right? So what happened is during this stage, which is uh, fertilization, well, after fertilization happens, the flower will become fruit. Okay, so in order for this to happen, must means that pollination must happen first. So this statement basically is saying that pollination is actually still able to happen, still able to occur, even though the anther is covered with plastic. This Mary said, this is what Mary said. Do you agree? Yes or no? And give your reason. So now, just think for a while. Do you agree that it is actually able to have pollination to happen even though the anther is being covered with plastic or no? Okay, let me give you five seconds to think. Okay, so um, theoretically, it seems like it's not possible. Hey, how? This one cannot go inside already. Ma. But don't forget, this is flower Y on the same plant. And if you look at this diagram that I just draw here, 
Although this can't go in here, yes, it's, it's not possible because it's covered with plastic already. But, but we still have this one, right? This one still can go here. Okay, now this is actually self pollination. This is called self pollination. Means that within the same flower or within the same plant. Okay, even this is cover, even this is cover. Example, la, the anther here is cover. If there's a same plant here, if, la, if there's a same plant here, actually the anther here can still transfer also to here. It, it, can, it could happen. La, okay, so which means that Mary commented that it can be developed into a fruit. It's actually, yes. It's actually, yes. You can say, yes, I agree uh, with Mary. Why? Why? You must explain. Okay. Uh, because the stigma, the stigma of the flower is still able because it's still able right because it's not cover the stigma you know it's still able to receive pollen grain receive pollen grains from another flower the flower but we know you're done because again they explain what can be developed into a fruit right means that pollination could happen here. So we must explain for pollination, pollination to occur. And again, after pollination become what? Fertilization, right? So fertilization then become fruit. So you explain further to occur and result in and result in Fertilization to develop into a fruit. Okay, so that's all. So now, uh, you might be slightly confusing a little bit because develop into a fruit. Yeah, because you still haven't really go in into fertilization. This topic to learn about flowers become a fruit. But again, it's a process that pollination happens, then fertilization. After fertilization, the flower will become fruit and there's seeds inside the fruit, then it will happen with this person. Okay? But anyway, that is actually basically this question. Okay? Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.